Teach Me TV, back again with another exciting video today. We hope all is well with you and yours. Today, we want to discuss branding and how it takes more than the visual components. For example, your logo. Branding incorporates your organization's visual personality and your client's general view of your business. These perceptions depend on a few elements, including intangibles, here are some examples. Brand guarantees, brand character, brand notoriety and client experiences and expectations. Today, we want to dive into the 7 tips to understand what you need to do today to start thinking or planning your brand identity, and why branding is essential for your overall business. Let's go! 1. Outline your brand's purpose. Here are some questions you need to ask yourself to get started with understanding your brand. What problems do my products or services solve? What makes my brand unique? Why should my customers care about my brand? How is my mission statement reflected in my brand's purpose? Does my brand's purpose support the specific brand promises I'm making? 2. Research competitor brands. The competition will show you how your competitors are positioning their brands and the kinds of branding strategies they're using. You will also obtain more information about their target audience and its response to your competitors' branding and communication initiatives. This will provide you with an expanded understanding of how to separate your items or administrations, which can fundamentally affect your overall business. 3. Your target audience. Here are some ideas that can help you be more specific and find your niche. Demographic factors such as age, gender, and occupation. The target audience of similar or competing brands. Sales and market statistics. Discussions and surveys of existing customers. Being more specific about your audience provides you with a narrower area of focus, enabling you to craft compelling messages capable of speaking directly to the customers who would benefit most from your brand. 4. Understanding a brand personality. Your brand persona, for instance, it could be lively or genuine, conventional or courageous. It's essential to consider your brand persona altogether impacts your marking methodologies. Whether it's the visual language that characterizes your logo or business card, the client support you give, or your web-based media efforts. Knowing your brand personality will empower you. Allowing yourself to provide a steady and consistent message across the entirety of your business. 5. Developing a brand story. Here are some questions you can ask yourself about both story and messaging include. What motivated me to create this business? What are the highlights of my journey to build my business? What philosophies guide me in the direction of my business? 6. Create a visual identity. Whether it's your logo, your business card, or your website, the correct visual identity for your brand is the one that best reflects your brand's purpose, your brand personality, and your brand story. Without completing the previous steps, it would be challenging to know what these various intangibles are and how they might affect your brand's visual look. Think about this when strategizing your branding needs. 7. Integrate your brand into your business. Integration results in consistent messaging, and over time, this consistency translates into brand recognition and consumer trust. With 83% of consumers indicating trust is one of their top deciding factors when buying, building this trust is an essential component of a strong brand identity. Remember this potential clients who have never heard of you will want to do business with you. Everyone appreciates good business, people only want to deal with people who deal in this way. We hope you have walked away from this video with a better understanding of what course of action you need to take to start branding your business in a more effective way. Trust me there was a time I had no idea what branding was. Nor all the benefits that it would bring to my business. This is why here at Teach Me TV we want you to start to become aware of all the education and tools you will need to run your web-based business effectively. Hit the link in the description tab and join the newsletter. If you enjoyed this video hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Thank you for watching. We will see you on the next one.